What's up? Welcome to Renisha's space over here. I let other spot over the mic while I'm making social media in my pulpit. All I want to do is encourage you to be everything God has called you to be, even when others don't agree, baby. Happy Saturday. Happy Sabbath. What's up, y'all? <laughs> so, this morning when I woke up, I heard a song playing in my head. Now, you all know I can't sing. If you're new, a new follower, you're about to find out I can't sing. So, I went and I was researching. I was trying to find the song because I remember my pastor singing it. And we have, like, albums and stuff. So, I'm like, well, maybe that's our original song. I don't know because I couldn't find the song. But the song says something along the lines of, and I, this is the line I kept hearing. Now behold you and your sons. You were born for signs and wonders. You were born for signs and wonders. I don't know if it's born or made. So it's like, now behold you and your son. You were born for signs and wonders or made. You were made for signs and wonders. Now I know I can't sing. Don't y'all come for me. But this, I just wanted you all to hear that. That's what I kept hearing, that same line. Now, now behold you and your sons. You were made for signs and wonders. You were made for signs and wonders. So, Isaiah chapter 8, verses 18, and I'm going to read 19 for fun. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwelleth in Mount Zion. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Let me read it in the Amplified Version, because that was KJB. Isaiah 8, 18. Listen carefully. I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders that will occur in Israel from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. When the people, instead of trusting God, say to you, consult the mediums who try to talk to the dead and the soothsayers who chirp and whisper and mutter. Should not a people consult their God? Should they consult the dead on behalf of the living? Now behold you and your sons, you were made for signs and wonders. You were made for signs and wonders. We're going to pray. I bet y'all are like, Renisha, please stop singing and pray. <laughs> okay. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Thanking you for waking us up this morning with our right health and strength, the activity and uses of our limbs, our right mind. <clears throat> A mind to say thank you, a mind to just come and praise and worship you. We thank you that we were able to wash ourselves this morning, to dress ourselves, to brush our teeth, to do our hair, whatever, God, to drive where we needed to go, to cook breakfast, whatever we were able to do on our own, God, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We say thank you. Thank you. We will not take it for granted. The mere fact that you've allowed us to borrow your breath once again. There are multiple people who laid down last night. And right now, their family members are trying to find funeral homes to send their bodies to because they woke up dead. God, we don't take it for granted the mere fact that we have your borrowed breath in our lungs. Once again, we say thank you. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being true. Thank you for being a loving father. Rabbi, so thank you for being for us. Your word says, if God be for us, who can be against us? We thank you that we have a God that's for us. Mm, we thank you that we have a God that's for us. Thank you, Lord, for the mere fact that you are for us. We just bless you. We honor you. We adore you even now, God. We thank you that you are the God of miracles, signs, and wonders, and that you're making us a sign and a wonder. We thank you, and we receive what you're speaking over us on today. We, are, we were born for signs and wonders. We were made for signs and wonders. God, we thank you that you're about to put your glory on display like never before. We know things have been happening throughout the earth from nation to, from nation, to nation, but we thank you for just a global revival breaking out. Rapunzel in many places, oh God, with signs and wonders. We thank you that you confirm your word with signs and wonders. We thank you that as these people go out and they speak, they preach, they share the gospel, they evangelize the lost. We thank you that you're going to confirm what they said with signs and wonders. I don't care if they're doing it virtually. I don't care if they're in a church. I don't care if they're in the streets. We decree and declare that you're going to confirm your word with signs and wonders. We even thank you for the testimonies that are about to roll in, not for our glory, 
but to the glory of God. For the glory of God. It's not about us. We thank you for the testimonies that are going to come in. Even on next week, signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. On this weekend, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. God, even make our bodies signs and wonders we command every organ every cell every tissue and every muscle in our bodies now to come into alignment with the will the word the blood in the name of jesus christ signs and wonders now behold you and your sons you were made for signs and wonders rapam so god is not trying to kill you he's trying to make you a sign and a wonder he's not trying to drive you crazy he's trying to make you a sign and a wonder God, we surrender. We lay ourselves on the altar. We say yes. And we will not operate in fear when you tell us to go a certain place or speak to a certain person or do a certain thing. Even on social media, we will not operate in the spirit of fear. We know that you're coming and you're coming with signs. And you're coming with wonders. I think a lot of reason why we lose a lot of not just young people, but people to the church period is because they're hearing all of this stuff but they're not seeing the god we talk about god we thank you for coming with signs and wonders holy spirit you are the power we thank you for performing signs and wonders we thank you for the blood of jesus that keeps us covered we thank you for the armor of god that rest upon us even now in Jesus' name. Rapan, so even those of us that prophesy, those of us that prophesy, I pray that we're, we go to another level, even with the prophetic. Rapan, so yelebeshe, because of our relationship with you becoming deeper, not because we just want to be known for prophecy, but because we work on our relationship and we're deepening our intimacy with you. I decree and declare we're going to prophesy on a whole nother level and those of us that aren't prophesying that's supposed to we're going to trust you and move in faith so that the prophetic word can go out oh god signs and wonders signs and wonders the word of knowledge the working of the working of miracles the different gifts of the spirit signs and wonders rapan even when it comes to evangelizing the lost god gives up give us words of knowledge that would make the unbeliever bow and say, Jesus is Lord. Signs and wonders. We thank you for it on this day. Keep my followers on this day. Keep us covered. Keep us protected as we travel across the dangerous highways, byways, the skies, whatever. God, keep everything together. We bind car accidents, death by auto, untimely death, and premature death. We bind plane accidents, train accidents, bus accidents. God, keep us covered. Give us favor on today. We decree and declare everybody that sees us wants to bless us on the on today. Everybody that comes in contact with us wants to bless us on today. Everybody we come in contact with favors us on today. Oh, God, open our eyes and open our ears in the spirit. We thank you for this time of prayer. We decree and declare not one word of this prayer is going to fall to the ground. It is so and shall not be otherwise. In Jesus' name, amen. Love y'all. Bye.